Good afternoon out here on another hunt. Kind of set up in just a pile of tumbleweeds really, right on the edge of the water. Got the 28 gauge out with me. Had some snow earlier this morning, but got about three inches around here. And the wind's just now starting to whip up. The sun came out shortly after the snow this morning. And I'm hoping that that weather was enough to get the ducks kind of in the mood to land. Hoping for some mallards, but we'll see what happens. Here's my decoy spread on this little pond. I've got two geese and kind of an opening. It might be a little tight for them, so I might have to either fill it back in so they land short or, I don't know, we'll just see what happens. And I've got a majority of them kind of mixed in through that standing vegetation and just on the back. And I might have to spread that out just a little further too. But we'll see what the first few flocks do. Basically, I want my shooting window here over the open water so I can find them easier. And we've got some geese in the air. So we'll see what happens. Got four, four kind of working here. <coughs> Ah, oh, they landed short. Shoot. So those mallards, they landed right on the other side of these cattails right here. They swam up in here. I think I might move some decoys around, but just in case. Nope, they're still not. Still not all the way up in there. A couple of them swam up. Hoping a few will come. Hoping they'll come over here. Wah, wah, wah. Got one. Well, that green head down. These two, there's four of them. They dumped in on the other side of them cattails. And while they did that, a gadwall came and landed here, which is what I thought they were gonna do and what I wanted them to do. And they just got up for some reason and they came and swung around. I don't know if they would have came and looked, but gave me a shot and I took advantage of it. There he is. Nice old green head. So I moved some decoys further out. Uh, those ballards landed over here. I don't know if that was just because my hole was too tight or whatever but kind of moved them out, kind of, I mean, if they wanted to land here, they can. If they, even those canvasbacks, redheads, that's not even close to out of range. So they could land out a lot further. They could land over here too. Uh, I kind of left this open just in case some geese want to come in and I spread some more out, but we'll see what happens with the next batch. I thought I heard a drake. I heard a zzzz, and <laughs> I look over, there was crows, and <laughs> he was here backpedaling right in front of me. So he decoyed perfectly. Holy cow, I didn't even see him. Well, there we go. Just like that, two down. And the 28 gauge is working on the mallards today. He was backpedaling right here, right in this calm water. That is exactly how I wanted to decoy. And you can see my blind here, it's just, like I said, a ball of tumbleweeds. There he is, two down. Two nice old greenhead drakes. All right, two shots, two drakes down, and this last one worked beautifully. He came in, I bet he was seven yards. Just, I literally am looking around, and here, and he's backpedaling right into the mallards I have right over to my right hand corner here and i couldn't get my gun up in time he already landed by the time i got my gun up and then he took off and that's when i got him but two for two with the 28 a couple of green heads already a good day shoveler now the wind's really starting to whip up i haven't seen a lot of ducks yet but got a few in here I got some great motion on the water now. 
We've got the decoys bred, we got the hide. Just add ducks. Is it like a pintail hen? Had, I think it was a hen pintail came in and landed right by my goose decoys. A few ducks flying now. I think we'll get a few more drakes of something in here. Well, I got a bunch of ducks flying, starting to have been sitting in that water. It's about up to my knees, and my feet are frozen. My boots are only, the ones I got today are only 600 grams, so. That would be why. That water has got to be right about freezing. Whew, so I'm just waiting for the flight to really pick up. Then I'll go camel back in, but I'm trying to warm up. And then I found out my seat of my waiter also leaks because I'm sitting about water level. That's duck hunting though. Gotta suffer a little bit. Got about an hour left, a little less than an hour actually. And we've got birds working around flying at least finally I've had a uh, shoveler come and land far on this side and then I had I think it was a hen pintail come on land but basically behind my goose decoys here so passed up on her this should be the golden hour or I'm just gonna stand here and freeze my feet got a bunch of low geese and three ducks in front of them <coughs> 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 tall probably 35 not shooting them that far with my 28 gauge though could have convinced one to come down that'd been cool goose with the 28 i got two little morgansers out here swimming in my decoys watch this Ring neck. Ring neck. There you go. Get another duck coming. Shoveler. Don't want that. Nice ring neck drake. That might be the last hurrah. I don't know. We'll see. What we got for time? Got two minutes. He came in tight. Holy cow. Right here. I might, might as well not even reload. I only got to shoot. Two shots. Here we go. Here's a five. Dang it, my last shot would be a miss. And that is time. Oh man, <laughs> five mallards came in perfect right at last. Last, like literally a minute to go. Oh, I was so close. And I went four for five. <laughs> and I might have had, I, you know, I, I only I shot that ring neck and I'm like, yeah, there's only a couple minutes left. I'm not going to even put another shell in. I should have. Dang it. Should have done her. That's a nice one. That is a nice big old mallard. Right there. There he is. Look at 
that big old curls nice green head good way to finish her out i should have had another one. Oh my gosh i shot him he went down and the one i was going up on he flared off at the last second last minute hurrah that's why i didn't pick up early they could have came a little earlier but not complaining calling that a day because i have to but three mallard drakes and one ring neck drake not a bad day i had to wait and i went four for five shooting i'm still kicking myself i should have went five for five yeah <sighs> but that's all right that's a good day that's a good day that was a fun little hunt not as much action as i thought there would have been you know we had this cold front and the snow this morning and the wind kick up this afternoon i thought there'd be a lot more ducks mallards particularly working but that's all right got some green heads i'm gonna keep at it hopefully i can get a green head limit here soon but four ducks on the day i'm not gonna complain about that but that is all i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to like and subscribe and be sure to go out there and support those conservation organizations ducks unlimited delta waterfowl pheasants forever it doesn't matter there's one out there for you and they do a ton of good work so be sure to go there and support them and we'll catch you out there guys see ya